Morning. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. How are you too? Yeah, pretty good. I'm not sure about you, but I can't believe that we're already at the end of the season. Has the season gone mm. very, by very fast for you too? Yes, yes, really fast. Uh, I remember our first meeting and um, everything has been really, really fast actually this season. And um, I think it's good because, um, you know, um, when it takes too much long, then it becomes a little bit boring. So uh, so I think it's really good for um, for us to 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 be here now that there's playoffs and everything. So uh, I think um, it's it's been fast, but it's, it's so far so good. Yeah, there's been more games too, obviously, more teams, 44 rounds, 40 games. Have you felt that difference? Actually, yes. Actually, yes, especially with the injuries we had lately. Uh, the injuries we had lately has always been with, uh, like um, muscle injuries. So I think because of the many games and the close games we've been playing, you know, uh, weekends, weekdays, without enough rest. Uh, so, you know, actually I prefer like this because, you know, there's no time for too many training. So uh, just a little training and then game, then a little rest and then a little training and game. And so I think it's it's okay for me, you know. I'm I'm old, but yeah. <laughs> not as old as me. <laughs> <I'm okay>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, the, the aim was and still is to win promotion. Of course, the season isn't over over yet. But yeah. how has the season gone for you and FC Anyang? Do you think are you happy with the level of performance? Um. We can always do better than what we always do, you know. Um, at the end of the season, at the beginning of the season, I was pretty sure we we're not even going to do the playoffs. To be honest with you, but um, we finished third position, so we could have done better than what we did. But um, I'm happy. I'm happy because um, we are still in the playoffs. We still have the chance to get promoted, which is our our goal from the beginning. And uh, so that's the part of the team. My, personally, I'm. Um, I'm happy uh, because I finished the season winning the, the, the best assist in the league, which is uh, good for me. You know, but as, as I said earlier also, um, I could have done more than this. So uh, maybe the more that I can do is to win the championship with the FCI. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, when we spoke earlier in the year, you said that the Dejon game last year still hurts. Um, yes. Has that been the driving force for you throughout this season? I mean, obviously, you won 3-2 at Dejon earlier this year. Mm. And, you know, Dejon came back to 2-2, but you still, you know, you didn't get, you didn't think, OK, let's just try and contain and, and get a draw. You kept going. And that seemed to sort of be an example of just how you're using that, that pain to keep you going. Yes, to be honest with you, especially games against the Asian is is different for me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not just for me, uh, maybe for my teammates also. But uh, yeah, as you said, especially with the game out there, um, probably there was some something inside me uh, that still feel that feeling that I felt last season. So even though it was like 95, 96 minutes, I still had the power to 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 make that run to 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 make the three two. So yeah, that still that game still hurts because um, you know if we we just drew that game, we could have played again game one, and who knows, maybe we we will be playing in a different league this season. But that didn't happen, and it still hurts. And I I don't think just for me, for for all, for the other guys and for the fans and the in our office and everyone also. So I mean, the young game is pretty special for me. <laughs> Yeah, so, and you got you got three assists in that game. You know, the you know if a player scores a hat trick, they get the match ball. But if a, if a player gets three assists, there should be something, you know. Yeah, I think there should be something, but uh, I don't know. Maybe the the, the corner flag or the referees yeah. or something. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get nothing though. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, I just uh, got I just got a coffee from uh, Jayon, Andrigo, and uh, Moya. <laughs> And that was it. <laughs> well, yeah, 11 assists and seven goals. It's been a great season for you personally. And it's obviously time. Hopefully this will be a, a good season for the club too, I'm, I'm sure. 
No. Well, it is straight into the playoffs now. No, not much rest, no waiting. You, you, you play at home on Saturday. How are you and the guys feeling? Oh, sorry, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah, on, Sunday. on Sunday. Yeah. I mean, we, we after the Gangnam game, we had we took just one day rest on uh, on Sunday, and we started training right away yesterday. So uh, we are preparing really well for this game. We cannot make the mistakes we made last year because it's pretty much the same as last year if you you lose this game you're out so uh, we cannot make mistakes we need to be really really careful about games like this even though we have the advantage of home and advantage of uh, a draw exactly like last season so we need to we need to remind ourselves about last season and and be very very careful about about games like this because they are really really tricky games like this because you know at the back of your mind you you know it's just a draw at least if you draw you are on so uh, that can be really dangerous so we we have to prepare ourselves like physically but especially mentally because it's 90 minutes which is like a final game of i don't know what champions league european league whatever so we need to be really careful about this and um, concentrate so till, till, till the game is, is finished yeah as, as you know in k league especially in k league too the games never finish in 90 minutes there are no. a lot of goals that is yeah there, there are a lot of goals that get scored after the 90 minutes so we really have to be careful yeah well at the time of recording we don't know who you will face yet um how does that affect the preparation does the coach spend more time on just how you're going to play i suppose obviously it's a team that you played four times before already this season there'll be, there'll be no surprises really Yes, there will be no surprises, but in this case, it's a little bit difficult for especially the coach and and the staff because they don't know which team they have to prepare the game the game against, you know, because they are two different teams who play like two different kind of football. So uh, until Wednesday or Thursday, because the game is in the evening, so until Thursday we will just train like normal training and then maybe from Thursday we prepare for the game because we know who we are playing against. Well obviously as you know as you said you are at home again fans are back now properly I mean obviously last time last last year fans were there but there were still you know there were rules about shouting and cheering and wearing masks yes. that's different now they're going to be louder yes. that's going to be a big help for you. Yes actually I, I, I hope they, they, they will be much louder than usual you know because yeah. that would be like the one man we have, we've always been asking for every day. So um, hopefully there will be a lot of people at the stadium. Uh, it's Sunday game. It's uh, 1 p.m. and hopefully it will be sunny. So I hope a lot of people come out here just to give us a hand because we will need. We will definitely need that. Yeah. Well, it is third place and not second. That obviously would have put you straight into a, a playoff against the K League One team. But on the plus side, it means that you have an extra game to try and build some momentum if you do get through. You know, Dejon will have waited 10 days before their first game in the playoffs. You go straight into it. Momentum can be can be very important. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's really true. Uh, because if you just stay around from last game of Saturday to the 23rd, that's that's a bit too much, you know. Without a game, you can be playing some friendly games, but it's not the same thing, you know. So that's that's kind of an advantage for the third place, uh, but there's a risk of losing the the, the game also, you know, on Sunday. So um, hopefully yeah. uh, we will do our best for sure, and uh, hopefully the fans can give us a hand also. Yeah, um, have you been paying attention to the bottom half of K League One? I know, I mean, obviously you've got games to play yourself first, but you must have thought about. Which K League one team you might be might face? Uh, yeah, actually, um, usually I watch K League one games, but uh, lately I've been watching much more because I need to know who we're gonna play with. Uh, for now, we don't know if it will be Kim Chon, it will be Swan Samsung, or or even so FC uh, FC so yeah. we don't know yet. So yeah, uh, I I really watch all the games and. Um, because I need, I need, I need to learn my opponent, you know. So yeah. I've been really watching closely, and uh, I'm gonna watch on Saturday also, you know. Yeah, uh, I'll try to watch on Saturday also, because then Saturday yeah. we know who we're playing against if we win on Saturday. 
Have you got a preference or you're not really bothered yet? Uh, honestly, no. No? No. Fair enough. No, it's pretty much the same, yes. Yeah. Well, I, I spoke to uh, Gerso Fernandez a few weeks ago. He told me that you guys knew each other, which I, I didn't realize. But he talked about the schedule and how it's affected his energy levels and the teams. Is that something that you would agree with too, that, that you've also felt? Yes, yes. You know, um, there are a lot of games. There are a lot of games. And uh, if you play all the games, at some point you'll be tired. You know, at some point I picked up an injury because uh, I was coming from, I think, eight or nine games playing 90 minutes. And uh, so I picked up a little injury, muscle injury, because I didn't have enough time for rest and uh, every game is just sprinting and sprinting here and there. So, um, yes, it, it affects a little bit, but this is the league and we just have to get used to it. Yeah. Mm. Well, um Looking back at the team last year compared to to this year, what's what's different now that will make sure that you don't repeat what happened last year? I think we are more matured right now. Mm, even though we have a lot of new players compared to last year, but uh, these new guys are also pretty matured guys who have been playing this league for some time. So I think the maturity in this in this in this team right now, and uh, we have very good chemistry between us, even off the pitch, which is really, really good. We had that last season also, but uh, not as much as now. So the maturity and the chemistry that we have right now, I think that's going to help us to to excel. In, in I mean, that helped us during the whole season. And I think, uh, you know, now is much important. This game is the most important of the season right now. So uh, all the guys know that we are all matured. We all, we all try to do our job. And do it well, and hopefully, hopefully we don't repeat the mistake we made last season. Yeah. Well, finally, what message do you have for FC and Yang fans? Uh, personally, I want to thank thank them so much for the affection they showed me and my teammates. Uh, we really appreciate. They are coming everywhere. They come to Busan. They come to Gyeongnam. They go to Jeonnam. Everywhere. Everywhere they always come in their numbers, and we really, really appreciate that. We're just asking them to, to, to do one more favor for us, which is uh, come in their numbers on Sunday, and make as much as noise as much as possible they can, because we will really need that. So uh, we will ask for their their support, maximum support on Sunday, and uh, hopefully we we'll, we will not disappoint them. Right, fair enough. Yeah, well, Maxwell, thank you very much for your time this morning and good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank Paul. you, mate. Nice to, Cheers. Nice to talk to you. Cheers.